I'm going to show you an N54 turbo rebuild that just went terribly wrong. I don't feel like it was anything wrong with the rebuild. I just think that the turbo mainly blew up because of something involved with the car that I couldn't see. Based on the way it looked, it looked like this turbo just ran in boost to infinity and then just exploded. This guy had this happen twice on the vehicle. What I'm thinking may have been an issue is if a mechanic shoved a rag up in the intercooler pipe and then that compressed air didn't have any way, way to go or relieve itself so that the pressure just was working back to the compressor wheel and then just completely ripped the shaft in half. That's my theory. I don't have a way to determine that because I wasn't working on the car. I just ser We just serviced the turbos and then sent them out. But this happened twice, so I'll show you both turbos and the same thing happened to the, to the turbos and it was the same turbo for both times that it failed. The uh, front turbo is good both times, but the rear turbo was bad both times. Not only was it bad, it came back, both of them came back in this condition where the compressor housing was ripped off of the center cartridge and the bearing housing is completely shattered, compressor wheels shattered, and the compressor, well, pretty much what's destroyed here is the bearing housing, compressor housing, compressor wheel, turbine wheel, and the turbine housing may be damaged, I'm not really sure. But I may be able to machine out that turbine housing for a larger turbine or something. Uh, it was so bad that the oxygen sensor ended up getting damaged. The intercooler pipe had a compressor wheel blow out through the pipe. So it busted holes in the intercooler pipe. And the second time, all these chunks that came out caused... I'm guessing it caused those chunks to somehow go back through the front turbo and chew up the fins there. That's just my theory. I don't know either either that or they just left some type of debris in the inlet on the front turbo because the front turbo is still good on this one. And so is the front turbo on the first set. This is the second set. This was the first set that I built. Same thing happened. It completely destroyed the bearing housing. Bearing housing came out. See, the clip was in there. It just completely busted the compressor housing to come out of there. And the compressor wheel shattered. There's a piece of the compressor wheel there. Yeah, I think that's a piece of compressor wheel in there. The turbine, actually, the turbine housing actually looks good still. But this one was not as bad as the last set. I guess one thing that I kind of just thought may have been the possibility is that the snap ring wasn't fully in there, but I don't feel like that was the case because for that to happen twice, and especially when I, I check every time to make sure the snap ring's seated all the way back, but for that to happen twice to the same person is would be like getting struck by lightning twice. It's just something that wouldn't, like the likelihood of that is just so slim for something like that to happen. But I just thought this was really interesting. I ended up just giving this guy a partial refund and then we went our separate ways. Sometimes this does happen or something in similar cases happens and it's beneficial for us to part ways because I like I don't want to put more and more money in investing into trying to get somebody or gambling on somebody else to do the installation correctly and they don't want to put more money in paying somebody else to gamble with their money the fact that they're going to put it together correctly either so mutually the guy wanted just a partial refund 
So I refunded them that. I did gain a second set of core, or the original turbo cores off that without purchasing them. But I wish that this had worked out, but it doesn't always work that way, unfortunately.